In the xy plane, a parabola has a vertex 9, negative 14. It intersects the x-axis at two points. If the equation of the parabola is written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, which of the following could be the value of a plus b plus c? So we're given a parabola whose vertex is somewhere in the fourth quadrant at the point 9, negative 14, so somewhere here. But it intersects the x-axis at two points, which means that this quadratic has to be concave up. So it's got to look something like this, because if the vertex is in the fourth quadrant, it's below the x-axis, and in order to cross the x-axis at two points, it needs to be a concave up function. This means that the a value in our standard equation for a parabola must be greater than zero. It needs to be a positive non-zero number. Okay, so now that we know what our a value should look like, we can solve for the values of a, b, and c. So we're given the vertex of this parabola, so we can use the vertex form of quadratic to solve for a, b, and c. So vertex form says that y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. But we're given the vertex here, so we can just plug it in. So we'll have a times x minus h, which is 9 whole squared plus k, which is negative 14, so this will just be a negative 14. Okay, let's just, so let's uh, apply this square here to this term, so we'll have a times x squared minus 18x plus 81 minus 14, and then let's multiply all of these by a, so we'll have y equals ax squared minus 18ax plus 81a minus 14. Okay, so now this sort of looks like the standard form of the quadratic up here. So this ax squared term is literally just the ax in the original equation. Then this negative 18ax, this will form the bx term since this is these both have the x term in both. And then 81a minus 14 will be the constants, since they're not being multiplied by any x's, they're just constants. So this means that a equals a, since the coefficient of ax x of x squared in the equation we derived here is the same as the coefficient of x squared in the standard form. And then we have that negative b has to equal negative 18a, since this is the coefficient of x here, so it has to be the coefficient of x in the standard equation. And then c has to equal 81a minus 14. So now we have an equation for a, b, and c. So let's plug that into a plus b plus c. So when we add all these together, it'll look like this. a minus 18a, since this is a, this is b, and then the value of c, plus 81a minus 14. So this is the value of a plus b plus c. So we can just, since all of these have a, since these three terms have a's in them, we can just add them together. So 1 plus 81 minus 18 is just equal, oh sorry, put that in correctly, so 1 minus 18 plus 81 is just equal to 64, so 64a minus 14 is equal to a plus b plus c. Okay, so now we have an equation for a plus b plus c, but to see which one of these is the correct answer for the value of a plus b plus c, we need to remember that the value of a has to be positive. 
So when we plug in one of these answers into a plus b plus c, it needs to give us a positive value for a because we found that a has to be greater than zero. So let's look at answer choice a. So if a plus b plus c is equal to negative 23, then that is equal to 64a minus 14. This implies that a is equal to, let's do 14 minus 23. So this implies a is equal to negative 9 over 64. But this is a negative number, so a cannot be correct because our a value has to be positive, not negative. If we plug in negative 19 for a, b, c, we will get this equation, negative 19 equals 64a minus 14. This implies that a is equal to negative 5 over 64. This is still a negative number for the value of a, so b cannot be correct either. Then if a plus b plus c is equal to negative 14, then negative 14 equals 64a minus 14. This implies that a is equal to negative 14 plus 14 is 0 over 64. But this is just 0, and we can't have a being 0 because a had to be a positive, non-zero number. So c cannot be correct either. Finally, if we plug in negative 12 for a plus b plus c equals 64a minus 14. This implies that a is equal to 2 over 64 because negative 12 plus 14 is equal to 2 and 2 over 64 is a positive number. So only a, so only the answer choice d can be correct because a plus b plus c equals negative 12 implies that a is a positive number. So d is correct.